everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video we have a cool beauty kit unboxing if you're new here my name is natalie i post videos all about makeup and beauty if you like what you see here today i hope you'll consider subscribing before you leave but why don't we get started so today's video is an unboxing of the cult beauty fragrance discovery kit this was a kit that was available on their website a couple of weeks ago I did have a look on Cult Beauty before I sat down to film just to remind myself of the details about this one and I could no longer find it on their website. There was a little bit of controversy when it comes to this kit which I will explain in this video which might explain why it is no longer listed on their website. So I haven't been able to go through and work out the complete value of all the items contained in here. I'm hoping I'll have a bit more time when I'm editing this video to go through and work out the value of each of the items contained in here but just in case you missed it and you didn't see it on their website Cult Beauty were advertising one of their kits. They do seem to have quite a few of their kits on their website at any one time and usually they have a theme around them. They've had body kits, hair care kits and makeup kits in the past with an array of different items in and usually by purchasing the kit you are saving a bit of money. This one worked a little different to the ones I've seen in the past in that when you purchase this one you would receive a gift voucher. The price of this fragrance kit was £20 and they did say that you would also receive a £20 gift voucher. The reason for the controversy about this kit was, was in relation to the voucher that you received when you purchased it. There didn't appear to be any terms or anything attached to the voucher and it did say that you could use it against anything on the website. I didn't really trust that to be honest because this seemed very similar to the kit that Sephora offer where they do mascara kits and they do give you a voucher to reimburse for a full size of one of the mascaras that are inside the kit so I presumed this was going to be the same case so I was very surprised to see that the voucher did say that it was available for everything on the website. So much so before purchasing it I did actually go on to the live chat and speak to customer services just to ask them to confirm that if I did purchase this kit the £20 voucher that I was getting I would be able to use on anything on the website and they did actually confirm that that was the case the voucher could be used against anything. I did actually think to take a screenshot of the live chat so I will put that on the screen so you can see that they did in black and white confirm to me that the £20 voucher that you received when you ordered this fragrance kit could be used against anything on the Cult Beauty website. Up until that point I was on and ahhing as to whether to actually purchase this kit because it wasn't actually something I needed but I liked the idea that you were getting a gift voucher as well. Because of the fact that it didn't have to just be used against fragrance as I had possibly suspected I decided to bite the bullet and purchase this kit. So let me go through quickly and show you the items that were received in this kit and then I will explain a little more about the voucher. The kit itself does come in this really nice kind of toiletries bag which I'm actually very happy about because it is a really good size and will be ideal for travel. We are hoping to go away for a few days in the summer and this is actually going to be the perfect bag for me to take with me. I do have a few of the clear plastic toiletries bags that I usually use but I end up having to use a couple of them and because we aren't travelling abroad and I don't need to have a clear bag I'm going to use this one instead because this should hopefully fit everything that I need in for a few days. So I was very happy when I received this bag. So there were six items that were contained in this bag. Having now opened the bag up and got them back out of my knee, I've got a very strong smell of a few different things that are in there because I have already kind of given a little smell of things in here. So this bag did come with a few different little perfume samples and also a couple of candles. I'll go through the perfume samples first. The first one is from the brand Memo Paris and this is the Orange Blossom Absolute Tuberose White Musk. Comes in this very cute little cardboard envelope but then inside it is just one of your typical perfume sample size bottles. I'm slightly frustrated to see that it wasn't even one of the little spray ones. I've noticed as of late every perfume sample that I've received has been a little spray which is so much easier to use than these kind of stopper ones because I feel like these are so easy to tip out. From what I remember of having smelt them all this was one of the favourite ones out of everything that I was sent and it is such a shame that I think this is actually the smallest sample that I've got. I do really like fragrances that do have some kind of orange element to them. My favourite fragrance for years was always Hugo Boss Orange and I do kind of smell elements of that in here but this is definitely a lot more of a complex fragrance. Because I didn't have a chance to get the details before sitting down to film, like I said I will try and go through and editing and see if I can give some kind of value to these perfume samples. They did state when purchasing the kit that this kit was apparently worth £60 so I want to see if I can find that value. I did go through quickly and get the value of the two candles which was slightly easier but with perfume because it's smaller samples it's a bit more complicated so I say I will try and put that on screen. So this was the first perfume sample. 
this is just 0.8 mil the next one came in this little paper bag this is from the brand jizu jizu not too sure and this is actually a hair perfume it is a honey infused hair perfume and it says it is a delicate hair perfume enriched with honey from the mercy no mercy i probably completely said that wrong bee garden formulated to refresh and scent hair with the signature fragrance spray evenly throughout dry hair and give your hair a flip to emit a fresh scent i can't say i knew hair fragrance was a thing really although actually do soldiers know who say that their body mists are kind of hair fragrance i'm not too sure i'm probably not likely to use it for that use i'm probably just more likely to use it as perfume but this one does handily come in a little spray bottle and this one is four ml of product so a decent sized perfume sample this one is quite nice as well it does have that sweet scent to it because of the honey generally i don't like the scent of honey but because of whatever else is mixed in here i do quite like this one i haven't actually sprayed any of these perfumes onto me it is just kind of smelling it in the bottle but this is another one that is quite nice we have this one from amber laboratory and this is a five ml eau de toilette and this comes in a really nice little glass bottle this has a decent sized sprayer on it as well i did think that that looked like it was a lot more than five ml but apparently that's what it contains this one to me doesn't really smell like perfume this smells like aftershave and it smells like something my husband would wear i have asked him to smell it and he thinks it isn't because he thinks it is a perfume but i need to look into it a little bit more to see if it is an aftershave because i can't smell any kind of feminine notes in this at all it does just smell exactly like aftershave so perhaps it is because it doesn't really give me anything on here I will try and find it online and possibly put something on the screen to show what it says about it or if it is in fact an aftershave but it does smell really nice and i'm kind of hoping if i stick this in my travel bag that my husband might use it while we're away because he only has full size bottles of aftershave so perhaps this might be a bit easier especially because it does smell very similar to something that he already wears so i'll be intrigued to see what the notes are in here and compare that to his existing fragrances the main ones that he tends to wear are one million and the paco rabanne one or is one million paco rabanne there are two main fragrances that he wears it doesn't smell like one million it smells like the other one which i can't think what it's called and then the final fragrance in here is the fugazi orange crush again i really like orange fragrances so i was hoping i would like this one and this one is actually an eau de parfum and is 10 ml of product so this one comes like this with the sprayer again which is ideal and this one does actually have the fragrance notes on the side it says it has orange white amber and transparent wood whatever transparent wood is this to me i can't really smell the orange in it i can more smell the amber and this is one that when i have sprayed in the air it did give me a little bit of a headache but it is one that i probably do need to try on myself just to see what it's like because i do generally like orange perfumes so i'm a bit on the fence about this one and i think out of all the ones it's possibly my least favorite but that it's giving me a headache could also be down to the fact that it is an eau de parfum rather than eau de toilette so it is going to be a stronger scent but i will definitely give this one a go and see what it's like when i'm actually wearing it so out of all the fragrances i do definitely think that my favorite is unfortunately the smallest one that they sent me but there's a few different things there for me to be able to test and i think a few of them do fit in the scent profiles of what i tend to go for and then i say i, I do think that that one i received is it smells like an aftershave it's not something i'd be comfortable wearing because it does smell very masculine but i'm sure i can find a use for it somewhere then finally to the last two products in the kit and these are two candles both from very expensive brands the first one is from nest candles and this is the amalfi lemon and mint i don't mind the scent of lemon and i don't mind the scent of mint i would never have thought to pair them together though and it is surprisingly nice it does smell slightly of toilet cleaner but i think for me that is because of the lemon scent because i've only ever really used lemon scented toilet cleaning or generally cleaning products so i always associate lemon perfumes or air fresheners with kind of cleaning products it's not down to the product itself i am intrigued as to how this will smell when it is lit because i know a lot with candles they can smell so different once they are lit compared to when they are cold but this is such a cute little candle and i know that nest candles are really pricey and it was a candle company i was never going to purchase a full size from 
so I'm quite happy to have a mini from them. So this is just 27 grams of product and the full size of their candles are normally 230 grams. So I did go ahead and work out the value of this and the other candle. The full size of this would be £43 for that 230 so I work out that this 27 grams is worth five pounds and five pence. To be honest, I did think Nest candles were more expensive than 40 pounds. I still wouldn't spend 40 pounds on a candle, but I had in my head that they were a lot more expensive, possibly perhaps because I've seen a few American YouTubers unbox them and they've been sort of 60 or 70 dollars. So perhaps that's the figure I had in my head. But yeah, excited to give this a go and it will be quite nice to burn throughout the summer. Then the final candle is from Jo Malone. Again, another expensive brand, a candle brand I was never going to purchase from. So this one is called Jo by Jo Loves and I think that is the scent. And having smelt it, I can't put my finger on what the scent actually is. Again, I will try and find something to put on the screen if I can find the kind of notes that are contained in here because I can't put my finger on it from smelling it. It's not a terrible scent. It's just not my personal preference, but it's another one. I will try it lit because it might be slightly different. I've had a couple of candles in the past that smelling them just like this, I didn't like them at all. And as soon as they were lit, they were really nice. And I do get a warmth from the smell of this, if that makes sense. So when it's lit and it is actually warm, it might smell a little bit nicer. And I do get kind of autumn, wintery notes from this. I am intrigued to see what it does actually smell of. This one I might save towards the end of the year. Not that I'm really burning candles much at the moment, although I say that and I put one lit in the background. Uh, in case you are wondering what this is, it is a candle from Marks and Spencers and it is one of their LED ones and it is really cool. I think it was only £10 comparing the size of that as well to this being worth five pounds but just in case you were wondering what that was so for the value of this one a full size is 55 pounds which is for 185 grams so the Jo Malone candles are more expensive than the Nest ones which I did think they were around the same price point so this is a 70 gram candle so it is a decent size it is just a little bit less than half of a full size so I work out that this is worth £20.81, and pence, which I would never pay for a candle, even a full size one, never mind one just this size. But it is nice that I now own something from both Nest and Jo Malone, because like I say, I was never going to purchase anything. So it is a nice little kit. There are quite a few nice products in there, a couple of nice candles and some fragrances. And I think it was worth £20. They did say there was a value of 60 and based on the value of the two candles, which come to about 25, 26 pounds, there should be around 35 pounds worth of value in the perfume samples, but I will try and confirm that on the screen. For me personally, when it comes to fragrance, I do kind of like what I like, if that makes sense. And it's not very often that I do try a new fragrance. And if I do want to try a new fragrance, I do usually tend to go to Feel Unique because they have a pig mix sample service and they do have perfume samples on there. I can get five different perfume samples. Okay, they're probably only going to be as small as this one, but I can get five different samples for only £3.95. So if I'm going to be looking for a new perfume, I'm more inclined to try that service. The only reason why I did try this one was because of that voucher that they were offering. And if it would have been the case that the voucher was only available for use against fragrance, I don't think I would have purchased this kit at all. Going back to what I was saying earlier, they did confirm in customer services that the voucher could be used against anything. So once I got the gift voucher email to me, I actually already had something in my basket and it was a sunscreen from Supergoop, which came to, I think it was £28. So I thought if I can get the £20 off, perfect, £8 is more in the realms of what I like to pay for sunscreen rather than £28. Tried to put the code in, didn't work. Went on live, tried to try and get to the bottom of it. Spoke to a lady and explained, I had been told that this voucher could be used against anything. I didn't think to screenshot this chat, but I think she said something along the lines of, we are looking into this. Uh, I need to speak to basically my higher ups and get to the bottom of what's going on. I can't tell you right this very second why the code's not working for you. Leave it with me and I will send you an email. So I left it a day or two, didn't hear anything back, was having a look on Twitter. A few other people I could see were having the same issue and customer service on Twitter were just saying, oh, send us a DM, but I couldn't really see what the response was. So I decided to send them a DM myself on Twitter as well as get back on the live chat. I then spoke to a lady who didn't really seem to know anything about this and just said, yes, you've been sent a £20 gift voucher to use against fragrance. So I explained to her again, no, no, I was told that this could be used against anything your customer service agent themselves said this can be used against anything and she repeated again this gift voucher is to use against fragrance only so i again repeated 
but your agent advised it could be used against anything is there nothing you can do to honor it and again she just copied and pasted this voucher is to be used against fragrance only and nothing else so i said okay i appreciate that i did think that might have been the case but it was misadvertised because it didn't say on the website that it had to be used against fragrance she then said to me it does say on the website that it can only be used against fragrance so i quickly opened another tab went and looked on the website and there it now specified that the voucher was to be only used against fragrance so I went back and I said, I can see it says that now, but at the time I purchased it, it didn't say that. And I had a screenshot of the actual kit when it was available on the website. And I said, it doesn't say anywhere on there that the voucher has to be used against fragrance. And she came back again and just said, 20 pound voucher is only to be used against fragrance. And then she did say, we apologize. And I think that was it, but she just kept repeating, it can only be used against fragrance. So I just asked again, is there nothing that can be done for the inconvenience? Because I wouldn't have purchased this if I would have known that I couldn't use the voucher against anything. I don't want to make a purchase against fragrance at the moment. So her response was, feel free to return the kit. I've processed a return label for you. That will be in your inbox. It'll be three to five working days before you get your money back. And, and that was it basically case closed. So I felt very frustrated that I didn't really get anywhere with them. They really should have honored if anyone had ordered it before the certain cutoff because they had bought it on the basis that it was a voucher for anything, it didn't specify. And even though I had receipts, I had screenshots showing that it had said it was for anything and also had confirmation from someone in their customer services that it was for anything, they were just not having it at all. I didn't really know where else to take it. And once I'd actually received the products themselves a few days later, and it was quite a good kit, and, and generally I wasn't disappointed with the products. Obviously, just the whole thing with the voucher left a bad taste in my mouth. I haven't spent my voucher yet because there isn't anything I actually want from Fragrance on Cult Beauty. I did look to see if they had any room sprays because I'll always make more use out of them than of fragrances because I do already have quite a few fragrances in my collection but their cheapest room spray on their website was £24 and I just, I can't spend that on a room spray. So it's such a shame because this kit did have potential and if they had advertised it correctly, the, the voucher was for fragrance, which would have made complete sense. I completely get that. You, you are getting a kit to try fragrance with the potential that you would then purchase one of them off the website. That is fine, I do totally get that, but don't advertise the voucher as being used against anything and also then confirm it as well, then not stand by your word. So yeah, I'm on the fence here, it has left a very bad taste in my mouth and it is putting me off going to purchase that sunscreen from Supergoop because I kind of don't want to give them any more of my money at the moment, but that's just me and no doubt I probably will buy it eventually. Did anyone else pick up this kit and anyone else have any joy in possibly redeeming a voucher or is everyone else in the same boat as me and could only use it against fragrance? I'd be keen to hear your thoughts in the comments below. But other than that, that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks. Mm -hmm.